Hello. Uh, today I'm going to do something a little different. Um, a quick video on just some router basics. So this is a just a fresh app. Um, you can see here. Um, let's get rid of this welcome page. And we can start. So we have a blank page here. We can add app. Okay, so that's good. Um, if we go into the router JS file here, this is where all the routes live. Um, and even though you don't see anything here, right now we have like an implicitly defined application route, you could say, um, which here the template. Um, and application route is basically like the layout of your whole app. That's always rendered. Um, everything else is rendered inside of the application route. So in our case, we have page title, and then um, we have an outlet, which is where every other route will be rendered. So we can have some kind of shell and stuff around it. So if I did div, move the outlet in here, and do something like that. And if I inspect that, be able to see an app div here. Um, so yeah, let's add a, just a quick route here. Um, I'm just gonna use generators. There's the user. Um, so we get a few files. We get template, we get a route JS file. Um, if I type in slash user, that will render the user route. We can test that by just like, we can see the, 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 the title in here. So we see user route basics, um, which is nice. Um, but we can also type something like user in here. And you can see users there. And if we look in the HTML, it's inside of the app div. Um, and here uh, we can do a link to equals, and I think you can do application. Um, or let's do home. See, oh, it isn't. I do have an error. We do have an error. Let's see what is that error. Oh. Um. Interesting. I have not. It's interesting why this is not working as I would usually have it work, but let's see here. Let's try index instead. No, there's no, let me do a new tab. And we'll just read the docs. I haven't done this in a bit, so. Um, API reference. And it's not a lot. Um, let's see here, top only. Nope. So there's a quick search here. Templates component. Oh, link to. Wow, it's been a bit. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of React for work. Um, yeah, and it's not two, it's route. So 
I have a React router on my mind, I guess. And let's see application like we usually like we wanted to do initially. Um, don't save that because we have. So let's go back. Okay, so we have a user. Click home. Now it's at the home page, um, which we can confirm with putting our app back in. Excellent. And now if you notice router.js now has a new entry. Um, we did our generate. As you can see here, it says add route user updating router. Um, so that's what happened there. Um, we can also, so what you see here is user inside of application, but when you are inside of the, um, so you're at like slash, when you're in that, just the application route, you're actually inside of an index route, which is the implicit route here. So we could do index here and we would see the same result. So app user, click home, you just see app. Um, and if we did index.hps, um, let's just do that. So now the index is showing up. Well, it was always showing up, it just we didn't have anything inside of it. Um, and so it's not visible here, but it's there. Um, there are also two other routes that are there that are not visible. Um, one of those is loading and the other one is error. And before doing this video, I tried to do those, um, but they were not working. So I think there might be a bug, but the there's an alternate way to make those routes and it's application-loading and application-error. Um, so I kind of want to show those as well. So if we do, so let's just do ember g applica route application. Um, and I don't want to write, and that would just give us an application.js file. Um, and we can do a model hook here. So this is how you'd fetch data inside of a route um, and I don't want to show the error route first, so we can do row new error. Um, and as you can see, the app loaded, there's an error in the console, it's in the console, but our application template did not load. Um, we can fix kind of not really fix that necessarily. So, I mean, <clears throat> like if we did, um, so did a new file here and dash error.hps and said error. So you can see the error shows up. Um, if we go into, yeah, so in this case, um, application error, it overrides the application. So this is the one time where the application is not rendered. Um, even though I did say before that it's always rendered. So this time, and I think loading as well. So if we do application dash loading dot HPS and put loading here, it's not going to show up. Uh, but if we go back in here, and do something like so like if we do a five second timeout here, you can see loading shows up and it is not rendering the application. So Come to think of it, what I was trying to do was before I was just trying to do error.hps and loading.hps, but I think I could do a 
that. If I did new folder, call application, put both of these in there, and rename them. I wonder if this will work. No, that does not work. Um, so if you notice, that's what we get. And if I go back here um, in the guides is where you would see this. Um, let's see here, just make that smaller. Um, Ember.js, routing, and then table contents substates. So if you go down here, it tells you loading or application loading. Um, the loading one does not work. So if I move these out, we should be able to see the same thing that we just saw two seconds ago. So refresh. Yeah, so it's blank. So it looks like there's some kind of bug. Um, yes. Um, so that's interesting. Uh, let's see here. Um, I can rename these. Because I would see it useful that you could uh, have top level application error and loading templates, but they still are wrapped in application. Uh, that would be kind of cool. Um, well, you could do that with a component, but okay. So there's that. So we have our thing, it's loading and it loads successfully. Um, we can also reject. So and so we have that and should end up in the error state. So there we go. Um, and then if we go into our error state, we get at model dot, so the model would be the actual error and there's a message attribute on the errors. So we can display our error. So error, no. Um, next thing is when you go in here, uh, we have our user, um, let's see here, index, we'll do link to route user, user, okay. Um, and I do want to remove the reject for now and make it one second. And click user, user home. Okay, excellent. Um, if we go back here, we can we can add a path. So we could do user slash colon user underscore ID. So if I do that, um, I will actually get an error now because we're navigating to. So we see here. Error while well, generating a link to route user, you must provide param user ID to generate. Um, so let's go back here and do that. So uh, model equals one. Okay, click user, and then we get an error because um, we're not actually handling that case anywhere. Um, so this is actually new. I've never actually seen this before, but I like it. This is really cool. And the reason it's showing up here is because of our error route, uh, which is really cool as well, because this is handled by the route that should exist for, uh, for the user. So let's go here, go into user, and we'll define model and user underscore ID. 
and we'll just do return user score ID. That's more than enough for us. And, if, and user can do so. We'll just return the model user user one, and then hit home. Um, and so. And the same thing works for, so if we had a new folder called user, oops, not what I meant to do. And we had a loading HPS called loading user. Um, and in user, if we need the user route, we can do like something like um, we have in our application. Actually interesting. Um, I think this is actually supposed to be user user dash loading. I'm actually not sure how the usually I do. I, I'm a big fan of pods. I know a lot of people don't use them and say not to use them, but I love to use them. Um, so it's much easier in pods. Home user loading user user one okay yeah so I mean that's that's the basics um, for routing really um, you can have user error as well um, it's pretty uh, intuitive I guess you could say um, some of those default routes are kind of um, unclear when you first start you have to kind of read those in the guides and figure that out but they are very useful um yeah i hope that's useful for you as well i think that's all ended there take care